what do you think this is? This is not what it looks like, okay? It looks like a box of Godiva chocolate from the Belgium, right? But it is not. What that really is, is, and pay attention because I'm speaking as a shrink, this is what we call a peace offering, but it really is a manipulation. And let me explain why in one minute or less. Guy or whoever does something horrendous, right? To like rip you down or something. But of course you don't let it affect you because you know better and you don't know the guy, you're never gonna see him again anyway, so who cares? But an attempt was made. Let me try to rip her down, call her a narcissist, whatever it is, okay? Then I'm gonna apologize and then the gift comes. But guess what? It's a no good because it's toxic. That's how you recognize, as a shrink, I'm telling you, a toxic dynamic. Now, an unsuspecting woman who's not in therapy, who's not a therapist, or doesn't know any better, will just fall for this shenanigan. It's a manipulation and just say, oh my God, the guy's really sorry, oh my God. Now he has insight. Now he's going to see and he'll never, never call me a narcissist or whatever word or B word or whatever again. Mm -mm -mm. No, ladies, this is toxic dynamic. And what you need to do, you go no contact. I don't care if it's someone that you just went out with once or twice or whatever. No contact, ladies, okay? Especially someone you just met. Oh no, cut that right off. Anyway, which is of course what your friend here from Vlogistan is going to for sure do. I'm not even opening the box. How about that? Alrighty. It came from Amazon. I thought it was an Amazon package. Guy comes from Amazon with Godiva chocolate. I didn't even think, like, who this could be from. Who? Who? This could be. Anyway, I thought it was, like, you know, one of my admirers, secret or otherwise, who knows? Anyway, let's move on to the wig because that's what we're here to really talk about. This is, yes, another stump town, and this one is in Butterbeer Blonde. And I'm telling you, I am loving this. I didn't do anything with her yet, but wait until I'm gonna do some really nice off the face styling just to get a little bit more over here. And she's making her debut this weekend, which is now tomorrow before you know it. I am going to Broadway to see Funny Girl. I heard the, um, woman who was in it who I did not want to see she got fired the tickets were very cheap because the show was like in flux I picked up this real cheap ticket I mean like cheap and off I go you know now let me show you the dress because I'm going to wear this wig this wig is going to be like just a little bit fixed up it doesn't even need much and oh she's so light and funky looking Look at this, it's just so cute. I don't know why they returned it, why? And she's got good coverage in the back, not like the other one that I had to fix up. This one has adequate hair all over. So I'm very happy because when I was getting this on clearance, excuse me, I um, wasn't sure that I was doing the right thing. I said, oh my God, you're gonna get another stump tan after all you had with the last one? However, I really lucked out because I'm just loving it. I'm just loving this to no end. Oh, so what dress you're going to wear to theater? Okay, let's look at this dress. I got it on Amazon. It's so cute on, it's fantastic. It's the same dress that I wore in the um, Vlogistan um, video, except it's in this other print, okay? I bought three of these dresses. 
in different um, prints. I would have gotten five, but the prints were too similar. Anyway, it's so cute. And now with the wig, right? It, it matches like really nice. So I'm really excited. Really looking forward to going. I haven't been in Manhattan like since I went out with my uh, friend. And you know, loose again okay so I'm back with the for those of you who did not see my previous video when I bought this which is a complete disaster when I bought it now it looks gorgeous anyway this is cream soda blonde it's my other stump town and I have to say I just love it you know so um it's great I like the fact that it's like inverted, you know, it's longer in the front and it's shorter in the back, which really makes it perfect for the summer, especially summer in the city where it's just like the absolute disgusting mess. Now, without further ado, let's look at, which I'm really thrilled about, this new stump town i'm just over the moon with this one because i mean this butterbeer blonde it's just it's a hit it's a hit i also like the new tres leches blonde if you saw my latest video um it's in the alpha blend which i'm not going to get again even though you know it's a nice, it's a nice wig, but it got like clumpy so fast. I already had a flat iron it and I only wore it for the review. Like, you know, now here's the cap. It's got the usual, you know, temple to temple, lace front. You got to be careful with these. Let me tell you, you got to be careful with these lace fronts. Um, the belt dress lace fronts, they're kind of fragile. I know because I ripped one let's not get into that let's let's just not even discuss that and it has this nice left monofilament part which i prefer and um let's see now open wefted in the back i don't like these bar adjusters that really needs to like you know no and it has no extended nape unfortunately but with this style it's okay so um no problem on the cap it fits uh it's a true average you know it fits like a, a petite average head if you have a really larger circumference i don't think this um stump town is going to fit i think i would say it fits um not as roomy as alpha blend it fits close to how shakerato fits and Shigerado was like a petite average. So that's another thing I like about this wig. The fit, it's not huge. It's very good. No gaps. It's definitely on the petite average spectrum for the bell tress. Okay. Now this is the Tress Leches Blonde, all right? This is, it's beautiful. It's really a gorgeous color. You gotta watch my video. Um, this is so you train it off the face. All you do is you twist it, right? And then you just leave it there for about a year and then you come back, maybe two years. I'm kidding, you know, you leave it there for like a week. And you know, that trains it. Of course, I would steam it, but a lot of people don't like the steaming. Just remember when you steam a wig, you have to put in those, um, these are the things, these little packets, right? This is more important that you have to pack your wig with this moisture absorbent thingamajig. 
this thing comes with every single package that you get from anywhere amazon wigs whatever and why do you think that they pack this because this absorbs moisture so when you're packing your wig whether it's on a wig stands or whether you're hanging it up or whatever always make sure that you put this in with tissue paper in your wig when you store it and i don't think you'll have any warping of your wig because i steam all my wigs and i never had one wig warp because in my experience i swear by these moisture absorbent packets i can't emphasize that enough and tissue paper i also by the way use Febreze inside when I'm storing it as well. But I let it dry first with the Febreze. I don't pack it wet, obviously. You have to use some common sense here. But when I hang my wigs behind me, I spray the inside, okay? I spray my shoes too with this. I also like to use dryer sheets. That's me. I'm not telling you to use dryer sheets, but I use them. I put them in my shoes too. So there you have it. This is my gorgeous new stump town. This is my other gorgeous stump town that is gorgeous only because I made it so. Because <laughs> she was some hot mess. You saw the dress. I'll see you on uh, Funny Girl. I'll take some snaps. And until we meet again in the next video.